the Valentine's Day storm arrives late, but still manages to bring aurora in parts of the world. And now a huge coronal hole has brought us some fast wind that is making the storm linger on over the next few days. Those stories and more in the news this week. The sun has been incredibly busy this week, all thanks to Region 2497 that has managed to bring us not only some M-class flares, but also launched a solar storm at us back on the 11th. We thought it was going to hit on Valentine's Day, but we have this huge coronal hole that has managed to kind of push it up and northwest of us, so we only caught the grazing edge of it. Meanwhile, we've ended up having some this fast wind here that has taken what was left of that storm and just slammed us, and we've gotten some gorgeous aurora that is lingering on and will probably continue for the next few days. Switching to our M-Flare threat meter, you can see we're finally beginning to calm down from what has been a barrage of M-Class flares over the past week or so, all due to Region 2497. Now these M-Class flares haven't been large, they've just barely peaked over the M-Flare threat level, but it's managed to give us enough noise on the amateur radio bands to kind of keep things frustrating for you, I know that, and it's impacted by this solar storm that's also hit us, but finally we're saying goodbye to that region as it rotates to the backside, so we should start seeing things begin begin to calm down over the next few days. Switching to our solar storm conditions, you can see that Valentine's Day storm really didn't manifest itself back on the 15th when we expected it to. It kind of was pushed off to the northwest, so all we got was a bit of wake and a little bit of turbulence. But then that fast wind hit, which just kind of enhanced all this turbulence, and we managed to slam into storm conditions starting around the 16th and into the 17th. You can see we actually got to a G2 level storm for a short while, and it's brought us some amazing aurora. Meanwhile, we're now in the thick of that fast wind, and this should continue for the next next couple days. And that solar storm wake combined with the fast wind has managed to bring us some incredibly bright auroras over many parts of the world. And here's just a couple examples. In the south we had some gorgeous aurora australis in New Zealand and in Tasmania. We also had gorgeous aurora show in Sweden and over the North uh, Norfolk in the UK. We had gorgeous aurora in Iceland and in the uh, Western Hemisphere, we had gorgeous aurora in British Columbia. It almost looked like fog rolling in. And some north of Calgary. Switching to our solar storm conditions and aurora possibilities over the coming week, we are still feeling the effects of that fast wind. So NOAA is giving us about a 55% chance of a major storm at high latitudes. We really are still expecting storm conditions, but that should die down over the next couple days. At mid-latitudes, we're expecting pretty much active conditions with about a 20% chance of a minor storm. And again, that should calm down over the next few days, so you amateur radio operators should breathe a sigh of relief starting around uh, late of this week, maybe into the weekend. Switching to our solar flare and particle radiation storm outlook over the coming week, we do still have about a 30% chance of a M-class flare due to region 2497 not being quite out of view yet, but that should diminish very rapidly because there's no other M-flare players on the disk. So we expect that to drop down to pretty much nothing uh, here in the next couple days. So you amateur radio operators and GPS operators should be able to feel a sigh of relief there really within the next day or so. Now we do have an elevated chance of a proton radiation storm because anything, any time we have a region on the west limb, it always gives us a better chance for getting these proton radiation storms if, uh, if it happens to let off a big flare. But again, that, should, that risk should also diminish here in the next few days. So this week has been extremely exciting. We've had solar storms and M-class flares and some fast solar wind that we're still feeling right now, but things look like they're going to be calming down over the next few days. We do have a little region that is growing on the sun right now, but it's really not a big enough deal to, to kind of get all worked up about, but we are watching it. Meanwhile, things should start calming down. We're going to get through this fast wind in the next few days, and by the time the weekend rolls around, everything should be quiet. So all you guys take a break, you Aurora photographers take a rest, and look at a job well done. I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.